Yasmin Yonkas from Money FM, and I'm with Bernard Chiang. Look at him. The first gentleman, by the way, to ever be <laughs> featured on the cover of the oh. To Be Young oh, magazine. Yeah. Normally, you feature a watch, right, on this magazine cover, but this time you have a personality. <laughs> so that tells you how serious he is about watch collections. We've just had him on the show. Um, Bernard, you just gave me a very interesting idea with this watch collection. You yeah. say that you can tell the nationality of the watch yes. just by taking a look at the piece. Yeah. So can you give us a gauge? I mean, I can just look at that and I know it's Japanese. Japanese, right? Okay. What, yeah. else, what else is uh, distinctive here in terms okay. of nationality? The American sort of were the real first great watchmakers before the Second World War. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Hamiltons and the Walthams. You know why? Because they had no way of linking the two railroads together on spot, right? And and making sure that the both the trains leave. Don't forget telephones not invented properly. Absolutely. So they, they once the trains leave even a minute earlier or two minutes early, it's deaf. Those people cannot get off the train. <laughs> It's deaf, you know. Okay. There's no communication. Yeah, they can't stop it. They can't. So, tell what them. do you see? Railroads then in this? Yeah. So the Americans created and still continue to create great timepieces, and you can see, uh, the Americans are not about design and all that. They're just about function. So you can forget about, uh, you know, hand wine. It's totally battery driven. And, <laughs> but the thing is that it's tough, and you know, there's a lot of non-scratchable things so you look new even though it's quite old i see ah. okay these are clearly swiss swiss yeah. yes the swiss have that particular swiss watch look right mm -hmm. well cut you know perfect lines right and with just a tinge of frenchness in them you know oh right okay that, that, that nice feeling of somewhere in the Bordeaux region what about oh. these very clean ones these. And, and, and the one that you just took off yeah. your wrist That's, okay. these are very very clean yeah these this is to these were made by the Swiss watchmakers as a present to to show um, it, how the total exact opposite you know make a watch is totally ugly as possible you know scratch it as much as possible you know do everything <laughs> use the worst glass. <laughs> I see. So this is like the, the all yeah, the damages correct. in the watch is yeah. in this one piece. And and they use the new and the old. You see, if you look at the strap, uh, it tells you a lot about shoemaking. You know. The, the shoe changed because the old days shoes were made this way. You sewed the, the sole to the shoe top, right? Yeah. And but in a new nowadays shoes, you look, all our shoes are good year welt. I you know? see. Yeah, the sort of gum wow. there, right? And pressed down. Thank goodness for neatness so, and technology. Oh. Okay, let's just wrap up with the most expensive watch that you have in this mm, collection. Okay. Which one is it? Okay, unarguably, uh, to, to everybody in the world right now because if with the internet if they just google they will know that Gruber Fossies and Richard Mills are the super duper expensive watches now I would never buy this unless I was an incredibly wealthy person it's it's like even if you buy a normal model like this guy yeah, it's going to be 1.2 million after discount right yeah and if you buy uh a first day cover stem model like this guy where they tried to make 11 but they made less yeah it's just it's just a lot of handwork yeah so and the value of this at present this is 3.3 million gosh did you hear that guys so yeah. that's a 3.3 million dollar watch in this beautiful collection by dr bernard chung the first gentleman <laughs> by the way to be no, featured no, ever no, on no, tibio no, magazine we are so the pleased to have more more important people there <laughs> Okay, mm, yeah. thank you so much. And Bernard, please come back to join us on Money FM 89. Yeah, no problem. Yeah.